Welcome back, all you beautiful crafters. We are back today. Uh, if you can see, we are not in design space. We are in Inkscape. Uh, we're going to learn today how to make an SVG uh, from a colored uh, image, uh, preferably with a uh, white background. Um, so we can use it in Cricut. We're going to import it into Cricut. So we're going to go over here to File. And we're not going to choose new. If we choose new, uh, it's going to open up a whole new window. If we choose open, it's going to do the same thing. It's just going to open up a new window uh, with the window that you see right now in the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to click import. And I've been doing unicorns, so um, this is what pops up. Uh, so we're going to scroll through uh, the unicorn file and we're going to find one that I haven't done uh, with a good amount of color. Uh, to uh, turn into an SVG. Uh, this one right here looks pretty good. So I think we're going to click on it and we're going to click open. And this little box comes up and we're not going to mess with anything. We're just going to hit OK. And there she is. And we're going to move her around so you can see a little bit. If you notice behind her is the, uh, the white box that was originally there. And so this means she is on a white background at this very moment. And that's going to be important for us um, a little later. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the top. It says File, Edit, View, Layer, Object, Path. We're going to click on Path. And we're going to go down to Trace Bitmap. And automatically it pops up into a single scan. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to hit Multiple Scans and automatically it pops up with brightness steps and scans eight uh, we're going to change the brightness steps to colors and we're going to change the scans we're going to count the uh the amount of colors that are in this so we've got gold and pink and a green a blue and a light pink and black so it's one two three four five six colors now, I don't know why it does this, um, but if you do, we're, we're going to want to do seven scans. If you do six scans, and we're going to push update down here. Also, we're going to remove the background, but we'll get back to that in just a minute. Um, but we're going to click update down here. And if you notice, uh, her light pink ears are missing. Even though it's doing six scans, there's still a color missing in there. So her little ears are missing. So we're going to up that to seven scans. And if you see, her light pink ears are right on the center where they're supposed to be. So we're going to do one more scan than the amount of colors that are in the object. And we're going to do remove the background because that's going to remove the white from behind her. And we're going to hit OK. And we're going to come over here. Now, we're going to want to move this box. Now, if you click the X right here, it's going to close the box. But if you hit the minimize, it minimizes the whole Inkscape. I don't know why it does this. So you're going to want to exit out of this box. All right. So now we're going to move her over. And if you can see, when we move her over, now she is transparent. And you can see the image behind her. That's because this top layer that is transparent is our new SVG. And this bottom layer is just an image. So we're going to delete the bottom layer. And we're going to bring the top layer, the new SVG, um, and we're going to right click and then ungroup. And you should be able to see the multiple different layers that are there. So we're going to slightly move these so you can see there's the ears. There's the gold and the horn. There, oh, that's still the gold. There is the pink and the pink flower. The blue flower, the green flower, and the light pink ears. Super cute. Now we're just going to line them back up just, just kind of nicely so they stay together. And we're going to select the whole group. And we're going to come up here to where it says File. Click on that and we're going to go down to Save As. You can also hit Shift, Control, and S at the same time and it'll do the same thing. But um, So it's going to pop up into the, file that, or the folder that it's going to save in. We're going to call it Unicorn 4. 
And right here it says save as type. It's save, gonna save as an Inkscape SVG and we're gonna change it to a plain SVG. We're gonna hit save. And now we're gonna close out of, uh, we're gonna come in here to Cricut. Sorry, I got a little ahead of myself. Um, we're gonna go over here to upload. Gonna upload an image taking his time trying to upload everything else but just click upload image and we're going to browse and we're going to open up that folder that we saved that unicorn into and you scroll down and you find your saved image and there it says unicorn 4 and when she finally pops up you're going to notice right here that this doesn't pop up like normal uh, cleanup images this pops up as an SVG so the only thing you need to do is, is name the image, put in any kind of tags, and then save. You don't have to do any kind of cleaning because it's, it's an SVG now. It's not a, you don't need to clean it up. So now we're going to click on it, and we're going to insert the image. And there she is. Just moving her around just a little bit. You're going to want to ungroup her. Uh, I'm sorry it didn't show that. I lost it somewhere. But you're going to want to ungroup her. And now we're going to move uh, some of these pieces out of the way. And you can see the green flower um, has a little bit of extra with it. And the pink ears has a little bit of extra with it. And we're going to fix that. So we're going to move the, the layers that don't have the extra outline with it. And not all the time does this happen. But sometimes it does. I've had a couple that do and a couple that don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a shape over here. And because the flower is closest to a circle, we're going to choose a circle. And we're just going to resize this just so that it covers up. And we're actually going to hide this, the pink ears, but we're going to resize the circle so that it covers up this, this uh, flower right here. And we're just going to slice the flower out. You can contour the entire image, but it would be much easier just to slice out the piece that you need. There it is. We're going to get rid of all this extra, the circle that we sliced and uh, the, the uh, extra outline. And now we're going to contour this because you're going to see it's only two pieces to contour out of there. It's much easier than contouring 500 little, little specks and whatnot. So there's the green flower. And now we're going to bring back her little pink um, ear tips. And we're going to pull in another shape. We're going to do a square this time. There it is. Now we're going to resize it to uh, to fit the little ear. You can arrange this, send it to the back so that you can see the pink ear and make sure that it's completely covered. And then we're going to slice and we're going to pull this ear out. Now you can pull another square, another shape, and you can um, slice the other ear. Or because this is uh, symmetrical, it's the exact same on the other side. We're just going to contour this piece, clean up all these little bits. whole bunch of them but not as much as it would be if we had just contoured the whole image so this is just a little bit easier um, to slice and then contour a smaller amount so there's our little ear all nice and pretty we're gonna put it over here make sure it fits where it's supposed to and this is the same shape now if it wasn't the same shape I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend you doing this but we're just duplicating and we're going to flip it horizontal it's the same shape going in the other side of the ear. It's just a little bit easier. One less step that you have to worry about. You stick it in there. Fit in there like it's supposed to. There we go. There we go. And there you go. There is a whole cut file. This is a lot easier than, uh, than going through and contouring the whole thing and whatnot. It's a little bit easier. It can be a little bit more stressful. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to hide all these pieces because these two little pink ears, we're going to attach them. And you'll see why here in just a minute. We're going to group and attach. We're going to bring all these pieces back so that you can see them again. There we go. That's all of them. We're going to go up here to make it. And if you see all the pieces in the horn, there's the yellow, uh, there's the blue. All these pieces are going to be sitting 
other than the green and the blue and that kind of stuff. But if you see, like, with the ears and the eyes, they're sitting proportionately how they would have sat on the, the mat previously. You don't have to try to line every, line every single piece up. And the ears are spaced out like they would be um, in the original image. You don't have to attach them. Um, it just sometimes makes it a little bit easier to do it this way. So there's your image. It was super simple. Um, it really is super simple. Inkscape gave me a little bit of trouble last night or I would have had this video up for you last night. Um, Inkscape itself can be a little bit hard to deal with, but initially when you get the hang of it, it's super simple to do. Um, we enjoyed having you tonight. I know that this was a fast video. It's fast paced. We enjoyed having you. We hope that you subscribe. We hope that you like. Hit that notification bell. They turn blue. It's like magic. It's super cool. Um, we're doing a giveaway. We get to 100 subscribers. Someone gets a $25 free Visa gift card. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, you guys.